Hi guys, hope you're all well. I just wanted to do an unboxing video on the new Militarium Tempesta Skyans, otherwise known as Stormtroopers. Uh, from the get-go I saw them, I really liked them, so I went down to my hobby store this morning and I picked up a box. Uh, as you can see on the front, it shows what the normal Stormtroopers look like, and uh, quite impressed, quite happy with them. Something I did notice, the armour, It's if you look at the new knights that have come out, these on, the, on their shoulder pads on the knights, the outside edging is very, very similar on these, so it's nice to see that they're copying, or say, carrying on the style from, from them onto different units within sort of like the Imperium. I um, thought it was quite nice. You only get five in a box, which is, uh, it's alright, it's not too bad. I paid £21 for these GBP in, in UK, obviously. Um, not too sure on how much they're costing in other countries, but uh, if you know, then chuck it in the comments below. Um, on the back, we've got the Command Squad, as you can see. Very nice, once again, you get some really nice unique parts for, for that squad. Uh, the banner, you get some other bits and bobs that are really, really intricate, like the Medicaid box. Uh, you get like a hell pistol, it's got like a chain blade on the end of it. Um, this cape is really nice, I think, it's, yeah, there's a picture there, so it's quite, it just shows you how nice that is, the Medicaid box. Um, you've got the plasma gun, hell gun, hell pistol, and this is the new volley gun, the new hotshot volley gun, I think it's called. Um, lots of detail on the backpacks again as well, they've really tooled these guys up. So let's dive in, have a look at the sprues, and uh, get crack open this box. See you in a sec guys, catch you in a bit. And we're back guys. So I've opened the box up and as always you get your five bases and you get your instructions. Now I would normally move this aside quite quickly but I just want to show you very very quickly um, how the instruction manuals are changing. Um, you've now got, if you haven't seen in any of the newer kits, you've always got the uh, the stats of the models, the two different squads you can make with this box set on the back which is a nice little addition so you can tear that off and keep it in like a file if you need to. Um, and jumping into the manual very quickly, every model is shown, every piece is shown, they're all numbered like on all the new kits um, and it actually runs you through per model how, how to make every model so you've got the Tempesta or the Sergeant, you've got the Captain, you've got the Medicaid guy, you've got the Plasma guy, you've got everything in here so it's a really really good uh, little manual uh, for anyone who hasn't built any of these kits or it's like a first box you've bought, really really good little manual so we'll chat that to the side. And juicy bit that everyone's interested in, the sprues. So you've got two. You've got one that is more of a command sprue as such, uh, and you've got one that's more of a stormtrooper sprue. So we'll start with the stormtrooper one and come back to the command sprue afterwards. Um, as you can see, right from the get-go, you've got a lot of parts on this, guys. There are a hell of a lot of bits. They're really cramming on all the parts onto sprues, maybe to reduce the amount of sprues in boxes, or just to really try and fill the boxes out. Um, I'm not too sure. But uh, on this one, you've got the five torso fronts here. And you've got the five torso backs there. You've got some hotshot hell guns here, and you've got some holstered ones which go on the back of the models, which look quite good. Moving on to sort of other little bits, um, as you can see, you've got a lot of heads on this, guys. Loads and loads of heads. So you've got the rebreather face mask that you've seen, obviously, or you can go Rambo style and use all the berets. When I saw they're bringing berets back, I was absolutely over the moon about it. Um, you know, it's it's um, me being old school. I like the look of the old stormtroopers, uh, and I just thought it's really good that they brought them back. So I was really over the moon when they uh, when I saw them in the white dwarf and the snake peaks. First of all, um, jumping onto the legs, you get five sets of legs, obviously, but you get three that are cut off at the knee with one leg so you can actually pose it or different make it looking like they're running or climbing up a hill or something like that uh, and you get two more static ones so it does give quite a bit of flexibility when it comes to posing on here as well you get loads of little bit other little bits like you get obviously loads of grenades um, and you get obviously like pouches and like shotgun shells not that they've got shotguns but um, and then you've also got some a banner top here which is quite a nice little piece um, so really crammed in on the first uh, first sprue you've obviously got like, a little servo skull here as well with some smoke coming out of it that sort of chalice sort of thing which is quite good um, so that's the uh, the first sprue guys I'm going to move on to the command sprue next which has got some really nice parts on it so I'll put that to one side and here is the command sprue um, as you can see you've got a lot again on the sprues um, and my favorite part from what I've seen so far is actually this power fist um, really really liking this it's a it's a really nice uh, nice bit of kit um, you've actually got like the, the holes with the servos for the fist where it moves which is quite cool um, you've got the staff obviously for the, for the leader of the command squad You've got a plasma gun down here, um, standard pointed arm, uh, hotshot las pistol, plasma pistol, power sword, uh, bolt pistol, grenade launcher, uh, flamer, you know, you've got everything here, uh, melder gun, and then you come to the, the volley gun, which is uh, the sort of like, I think it's Salvo 2-4 um, hotshot las gun, so it really, you, if you get two of these in a squad, it's a shame that, that you only um, you only get one of these on the sprue, it'd be nice if you had the option to have two, so then you could obviously fit out the uh, fit out the command score with two, two of those, but never mind. 
um, other than that, you've got the daggers, which are this the iconic thing for them, and uh, you've got the banner here as well, which is really nicely detailed with two lions either side of the skull, Aquila at the top, um, and obviously Skyans uh, written there as well. So that's nice. Another little banner, banner top, so you can just chuck that on top of the banner. Quite a few different options for that, which is a nice addition. Um, and then you've got the amazing coat that everyone was wondering about. Is it a single piece? It's actually three, which is uh, quite a surprise. I envisage seeing quite a few people convert with this. Um, I think it's a nice part. You could easily cut this section out here where it joins to the arm and then uh, and then stick that on the back of a plastic Cadian, um, which is quite good. Uh, other than that, a little addition, something that I've not seen any box sets before is actually a gorget. They actually just give you an individual gorget, which is a piece of armour which goes around the neck um, of the uh, sky so you can make the Tempest or the Sergeant. It's really, really nice. Uh, it's got like a chain link underneath it. You've got standard canteens and you've got a lot of different arms. You've got a grenade arm somewhere, I believe. Uh, and also you've got this uh, sort of Gears of War-esque uh, hell pistol with a, a surgeon's tool, I suppose. That's what it is. Underneath for the uh, the apothecary or Medicaid. And there's the uh, Medicaid box. Some uh, some different little bits in here. You actually get another head as well, which is the uh, Captain of the Tempestor's head, which is quite nice. Um, so overall, I would say you, for the parts you get and for the options that you do get, it's quite a good kit. I'd advise if you uh, if you are thinking of you know for, for competitive sort of tournament play, if you are thinking of loading it out with two two special weapons, you are going to pick up uh, need to pick up a second box or if you've got a bit laying around you can, to convert it. Um, the only thing is obviously with that volley gun, you're going to need to uh, to get two of those if you want to do that. So that will, will involve two boxes or hunting it down on eBay. Um, so that's a review of the uh, of the kit, guys. I hope you like it. Um, let me know your thoughts and comments below. I appreciate it ever so much. Um, I've got a couple of unboxings, other unboxings that I'm going to be doing very soon. So uh, bear with me while I get those filmed and put up. Um, but as always, guys, please comment, please like, and please subscribe. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.